Welcome back to Defense Web TV News, part of Army Recognition Group, your trusted daily source for comprehensive global military coverage. Each day, we deliver the most significant defense stories, supported by dynamic video reports spanning land, air, and naval operations. Turkey has officially inducted the first serial production Altai main battle tanks in Ankara, marking the start of mass production of 250 unit fleet that will form the backbone of the Turkish land forces modernization. Built at BMJ's new tank and next generation armored vehicle production facility in Karaman Kazan, the Altai merges a NATO standard 120 mm smoothbore gun, active production system APS Accor, and layered composite reactive armor with indigenous mobility systems to deliver high survivability, firepower, and operational autonomy. The rollout of the new Altai tank marks a major milestone in Turkey's decade-long drive for self-reliant heavy armor, a NATO standard main battle tank built entirely on a domestic industrial base. The Altai fields the MKE 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, a Turkish evolution of Korea's CN08, paired with Azerstan's digital fire control system and advanced commander and gunner sights. Its protection follows a three-layer design, composite armor from rocket sun, modular reactive and slat armor against RPGs, and the A-core active protection system delivering 360-degree defense against missiles and top attack threats. Early production uses the Korean DV-27K 1500 horsepower engine and EST-15K automatic transmission before transitioning to BMC Power's fully indigenous BATU power pack on the Altai T2 line. The power transmission contract with South Korea's SNT Dynamics totals about 200 million euros. The first three tanks enter service in 2025, followed by 11 in 2026, 41 in 2027, and 30 in 2028, all T1 models. From 2028 onward, the T2 variant with the Bear 2 engine begins production, targeting a total of 250 tanks within five years. At the October 28th ceremony, President Erdogan inaugurated BMC's new 63,000 square meter plant, capable of producing eight Altais and 10 Altu armored vehicles every month, calling the Altai the fortress of the battlefield. The program's path traces back to Otokar's original design with Hyundai Rotem technology transfer, later rebaselined under BMC for serial production. Two pre-series tanks delivered in 2023 shaped the new Altai now entering service. With its hard kill APS, digital hunter killer sights, and NATO standard 120mm gun, the Altai T1 ranks among the few frontline tanks worldwide fielding full active protection as standard. The upcoming T2 will extend that edge with a completely Turkish power group, freeing future exports from foreign restrictions. Today's delivery of the first three Alteis turns Turkey's armor renewal from aspiration to reality, a coordinated, homegrown production rhythm led by BMC, Aselsan, Roketsan, MKE, and Havelsan. The Altai is no longer a prototype, it's the core of a new, self-sustaining Turkish armored force. The induction of Altai main battle tank marks a decisive step in Turkey's long-term vision for defense autonomy and land warfare modernization. With serial production now in their way, the Altai program transforms from a developmental ambition into a sustained industrial and operational reality, reinforcing the Turkish land forces with a fully indigenous and next-generation armored capability. Stay tuned to Army Recognition's Defense Web TV News for continuous updates on the developments in defense and security, and join us for end of the week review where we break down the most significant and important stories across lands, air, and sea.